What's up, humans, and welcome to a new Sico Activo. Happy Friday, everybody. So, today we are doing uh, a story that came out yesterday on the Daily Mirror. Uh, it's an, an exclusive that is titled as follows Huge alien announcement could happen within weeks. As Professor says, we found it. Okay, so this has to do with filmmaker Simon Holland, who I've had on the channel twice already, and we've collaborated in other projects. We were recently on a live stream with Patrick from Vetted and with Clint from The Night Shift. The thing is that this article, uh, the person who wrote it, I'm sorry, but uh, I got to say that he didn't do his due diligence. Uh, ever since I had uh, Simon on the show the first time, people were giving him uh, flack for using professor as part of his name because he's not a professor. However, Simon has a pretty imp impressive resume. He's worked for the BBC. He's worked for the Discovery Channel. He's a filmmaker, a professional filmmaker. That's why his videos are so well produced. He's a pro. And he's a science communicator due to his background. I think that a lot of people, even people who are known in the UFO community, keep giving him flack for using this nickname. I don't know if he's thinking about removing it from his channel altogether, but the most recent times where we've spoken... Um, he's made it very clear that he is a filmmaker, not a professor. And that's how I am introducing him ever since when I speak about him. The thing is, this is the Daily Mirror, which is one of the biggest publications in the world. Although people in Britain and some, some other places around the world, I can tell you that this tends to be a more sensationalist type of uh, publication, The Mirror, and all of the uh, sister companies, because this article, or part of this article, originally came from the Irish Star, which is even more sensationalist. Um, and this man, uh, the author of this article, decided to use Professor in the title. I just wanted to clarify this, because um, there's people already going at uh, Simon for this. And I don't think it's fair. During one of the live streams where uh, he was with Patrick on the second time, I wasn't around. But I did watch it and I saw... No, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real story. And um, we're about to get full alien disclosure. That's what I'm hearing. I mean, which is... <laughs> where are you hearing? You know. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so, dreams. Sorry. That's just the obvious... No, no, so, you know, Jack, Clint, from, a really good Jack question. 33. Yeah, Jack yeah. Dragon 33 on YouTube commented it. Trust me, bro. And, uh, dot com. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, ahead, no. Um, so my family contacts are all in um, Cambridge Radio Astronomy. And um, a very good mate is a retired head of the European Space Agency uh, Radio. And it, and it was him originally who told me that about the uh, um, the, the the probable contact or the likely uh, candidate. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, wake up, candidate that was discovered from SETI at home that breakthrough. Listen, are uh, currently studying. Um, I just think that they're stalling for time. I think they do want a bit more confirmation. I think J uh, James Webb has also found something, really. And um, we're just getting into the final um, the, the final blows of how it's going to come out. I think it's going to be um, definitely a year or less. I mean, we're living in a changed time. Uh, that's what I hear anyway. I mean... So he has a reliable contact because it's his family member. Uh, I don't think his family would lie to him who is telling him a lot of this is happening. 
So, speaking to the mirror, he said, We have found a non-human extraterrestrial intelligence in our galaxy, and people don't know about it. That's a very strong statement to make. And he already did it on Vetit uh, about a week ago. But, uh, well, the mirror is quite an enormous publication, one of the biggest in Europe and the world, too. So the fact that he's saying this here is important, I think. Whatever, uh, it doesn't matter what you think about the mirror or any company, any news tabloid uh, like this one, because the sun is similar, um, the Daily Mail is also similar. It's a whole culture of uh, sensationalist tabloids in the UK that do this. And I am not saying that every writer in there is sensationalist, just like the publication's aura is that. And because I know Mr. Matthew Fellen does work for uh, one of these publications and he does incredible work. So I think that it depends on the writer, but it also it's also one of these publications that has a fame, you know. But I don't think it's fair to criticize the news uh, just because it's coming from the mirror, for example. Um, or criticize Simon uh, for that nickname, although he has already expressed multiple times that he's not a professor. And he's even like kind of fed up with the whole situation, to be honest with you. And I get it. Um, People are trying to discredit him and his professionalism and his actual credentials just because of that nickname. And I don't think it's fair. Um, take a look at the work he's done. You can find a lot of it on IMDb. And he will tell you of, of the productions he's been a part of. It's pretty damn impressive, if you ask me. So, But that's just me. Uh, okay, so... Simon added, they found the evidence of a non-human technological signature a few years ago using the Parkes telescope in Australia. So this is part of the news that he dropped earlier uh, this year when he spoke about this breakthrough listen discovery that came from the SETI at home system in the early 90s, in the late 90s, early 2000s. This is what he's talking about. However... The main Patreon of this telescope is none other than Mark Zuckerberg, the Facebook mogul, and Yuri Milner. Um, they are trying to get more evidence to support this discovery. I think this is the piece of news that is the most important one because whatever Simon is saying, he already said it before. Um, last week to be specific but this news about Mark Zuckerberg being part of this is really interesting uh, and I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this but that doesn't mean that what Simon is saying is not um, worth repeating it is so this is where he continues he says this is breaking news as of yesterday but the Chinese might be pipping them to the post with their FAST, uh, acronym FAST, 500 meter aperture spherical telescope program. It's the largest telescope in the world since Arecibo. That's wild. Um, and this eerily ties into what Christopher Mellon and Matthew Pines have been talking about China. Because um, they, at least they suspect that China has already made some type of technological breakthrough that the U.S. is not privy to, or the rest of the world, for that matter. And the fact that they are doing this as well, you can tie it easily to each other. So whatever the source of BLC-1 signals turns out to be, stressed Simon, it's like no known natural phenomena. It's a single point source. And it is not only noise, they say. 
The signal, instead of being the giant bus of everything in the universe that we hear through all radio telescopes, was a narrow electromagnetic spectrum. So I want to hear what you guys think about this. Um, this news from Mark Zuckerberg um, being kind of the main patron of this uh, telescope, the Parkes Telescope in Australia. They say that the team formed by Mark Zuckerberg and Yuri Milner is racing to gather evidence uh, to support this discovery. If Mark Zuckerberg becomes like the leading name in this discovery, it's going to be interesting to see all the people's reactions to this. This is um, the author of the article used professor to describe Simon. I would ask him to rectify this and, and write uh, filmmaker Simon Holland. So yeah, these two rival groups of astronomers in China and Australia are apparently racing towards uh, the discovery of an extraterrestrial civilization. And Holland says, or he claims, that the discovery is less than a month away. So, there's that. Um, that's wild. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think about the misuse of, of Simon's actual credentials. Should he maybe consider changing his YouTube name to Filmmaker Simon Holland or Science Filmmaker Simon Holland? That would be more suitable. And... Please stop insulting Simon. He has a brilliant career. He he doesn't deserve all the flack he's getting just for a nickname. Honestly, just look at his resume. That's all you need to do. He has contacts. He has he backs up what he says. Although it's true, at the beginning he started being quite skeptical on his channel, but I think that meeting um John Burroughs changed his perspective. It kind of changed mine too when I spoke to him, uh, to be honest with you. Because John has a very interesting story that needs to be told as is. And Simon is trying to do that. Uh, you just have to go look at the videos that they're making together. And you will realize that Simon is trying to do that. And he became... Uh, convinced of the UFO phenomenon as a reality that that was cool to see how it evolved and I think it was because of John Burroughs so whoever also says that or criticizes Simon for some things he said at the beginning of his channel maybe you should take a look at the whole progression since you dropped out the connections he has I mean John Burroughs is the only serviceman uh, from the US who has an actual document that confirms officially he was injured by UAP. Nobody in the world has that. I mean, at least not known. Maybe there are many different uh, documents that are secret or classified that we can't see that do confirm this as well from many more service people. But John is the only one who's public. And that should be more than enough to convince anybody who works with him um change their tune let me know what you think also about this um mark zuckerberg um endeavor and competition with china uh do you think this will actually happen i am obviously as always skeptical about claims as grandiose as this but we should still um wait and see who knows what will happen let me know in the comments. What do you think about all this? And please, if you like the content you see, I can see that most of you are still not subscribed. So what gives? Maybe I'm not doing uh, my job well enough by telling you. So here's me telling you. Please subscribe. Uh, share the content if you like it. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the bell notification. And keep commenting. I love them. You can see that I'm very active in there. So. Maybe I will respond to you. Um, and I like long-winded responses. So, uh, Okay, so this is it for today's video. 
And I hope you like it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.